Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. This video is going to show how I reinstalled the wiper motor assembly on my 2004 Chevy Tahoe. I made some other videos that show how I did some troubleshooting, removed the wiper motor assembly from the truck, and then disassembled, cleaned, lubricated, and reassembled it. You can watch those videos by clicking the links in the description below. Let's put this back in now. So I'll just get this pushed through. Okay. So the trickiest part here is just getting this thing in here and around the cable that's here for the back hatch. So I've got the center shaft up there through the hole and I'm just going to put these bolts back in now. Now that the motor is mounted back in the truck, I'm going to reconnect the wiring harness while I'm in here. Well, that's a little disappointing. I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone there, but we're kind of back to square one. I've got the motor you know, mounted in here, as you can see. I don't have it bolted down, but it's in place. The wiring harness is connected. The key is on, and the wiper control is on. And all I'm hearing is that same clunking noise that I heard when we started this project. So I don't think taking this apart and greasing it hurt anything, but it, it probably wasn't the root problem here. I decided to go inside and do a little research on the internet. I found that some people were having problems with bad grounds on their wiper motors. So I decided to put a jumper wire here uh, between the bracket that the wiper motor is mounted to and another exposed piece of metal that's bolted directly to the tailgate here just to kind of create a good solid ground path. So let's go turn the key on and see if this thing starts working now. Okay well as you can see the motor is now spinning. So the problem all along was probably just a bad ground. So taking everything apart and greasing it and inspecting it wasn't really necessary. It didn't really hurt anything but just wasted a little bit of time I guess. So I ended up making a new ground wire I crimped on some ring terminals, bolted one to the bracket here that holds on the wiper motor, and ran it over to this other bolt that holds on the rear latch assembly here. And everything seems to be working good now, as you can hear. So let's finish putting this back together now. So now I'll reinstall this rubber piece over the wiper arm shaft, and then I'll put this nut back on. Now this nut is just a plastic nut and it stripped a little bit when I took it off so this is not going to go back on quite as easily as it came off I don't think if I can even use it at all. All right, so I've got this plastic nut on. Once I got the thread started, it seemed like it's on there okay. It seems like it's putting enough pressure on the rubber boot there to keep it sealed against the gate and not let any water through. Um, but I don't want to tighten it really any more than it is because uh, it'll probably just strip the threads out. So, so I'm going to drop the wiper arm back on and I'm going to get it sort of positioned, get this tab in this holder over here get everything kind of lined up and then push this on. There are splines on the shaft here and mating splines inside the wiper arm that will kind of seat together and help gear this thing as it moves. So we don't want to engage those until this is sort of lined up where it needs to be. So we'll push that in to engage those and then I'll put the nut on and tighten it up. Okay, so we'll just tighten this up 
it doesn't need to be overly tight, just snugged in to keep it from falling off. So now I'll reconnect the washer tube by just sliding it up onto here. Make sure I hold this so it doesn't break. So now the last thing to do is put this plastic cover back on. And you can see this has just got uh, clips that go around the shaft here where the wiper arm pivots. And then we'll just sort of clip in place there. So I think we're good to go. Let's do one final test before we call this done. So now I'm just going to reinstall these clips. I've got the button pulled all the way out. I'll just push that in, pop the button in, and we're good to go. So I decided while I was fooling around with everything, I would take the wiper arm back off the truck and give it a coat of paint there, just to make it a little look a little bit better. Um, if you remember from the earlier parts of the video, the paint was chipped off around here, had some white spots where the aluminum was showing, and it just looked kind of crappy. So we'll let this quick coat of paint dry here in the August sun, and then I'll, uh, I'll put that back on the truck, and we'll be all done. So as you saw, everything was working. Um, I don't know if it was working exactly correctly. It seemed like the motor was struggling a little bit to uh, move that wiper arm. So there may be some other issues in here that need to be taken care of. Uh, I'm going to try and run this a little bit and see if it continues to work or if it breaks again. And if it does, we'll take another look and see if we need to do any additional work. But for now, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. You at least saw how the wiper motor comes out and goes back in. And you also saw how it came apart and how you can grease it and all that. And we looked at that bad ground wire. One thing that I forgot to talk about was the rear defogger. That extra ground wire that I added took care of all the problems I was having with that as well. So that's now fully operational. Hopefully all that was helpful, and if it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.